mummy of famous Egyptian pharaoh Amenhotep, digitally unwrapped for the first time in 3,000 years. While the mummy of pharaoh Amenhotep I remains undisturbed, scientists use CT scans to digitally unwrap the body for the first time. This is by Omen Jarrah's Life Science and Collective Spark. The mummy of ancient Egyptian pharaoh Amenhotep I were so exquisitely wrapped, decorated with flower garlands and buried with a lifelike face mask, scientists have been hesitant to open it up, and that is until now. Some 3,000 years after Amenhotep's burial, a team of researchers used CT scans to digitally unwrap his body for the first time, virtually peering through the many years and layers to reveal what he would have looked like when alive. He took after his dad, it seems. They also found that the pharaoh, who ruled from about 1525 BC to 1504 BC, was 35 years old, 5 foot 5 inches tall, about 169 centimeters. When he died, he was also circumcised and had good teeth. The researcher said, beneath the wrappings were, he was only 35 years old, Beneath the wrappings were 30 amulets as well as a unique golden girdle with gold beads. Study co-author Sahar Salim, a radiologist professor at Cairo University's Faculty of Medicine said in his statement, this girdle may have had a magical meaning and the amulets each had a function to help the deceased king in the afterlife. Zahi Hawaz explains, he's Egypt's former minister of Antiquities, also co-author of the new study published December 28 in the journal Frontiers in Medicine. Amenhotep I's mummy is wearing a piece of jewelry called a girdle. The ancient Egyptians wore jewelry like this around their necks, their wa sorry, their waists. Some girdles, as this one, have shell amulets on the side, Salim told uh, Live Science. Amenhotep I, Egypt expanded in northern Sudan during the time that Amenhotep I reigned during the 18th dynasty. The pharaoh initiated a building program that saw the construction or expansion of numerous temples. Nobody knows how the pharaoh died or where he was originally buried. A team led by French Egyptologist Gaston Maspero found Amenhotep's mummy in 1881 along with several other mummies in a tomb on the west bank of the Thebes of Thebes, modern-day Luxor. His mummy had been placed in the tomb sometime during the 21st dynasty, around 11, uh, sorry, about 1070 BC to 945 BC, after it was robbed in ancient times. Researchers found that the robbers had damaged the pharaoh's body. The CT images show the extent of damage of the mummy of Amenhotep I, that involved neck fractures and decapitation, a large defect in the anterior abdominal wall, and de disarticulation of the extremities, including the right hand and foot, wrote Salim and Hawass in their journal article. The researchers found that priests had prepared and re repaired the mummy by placing detached limbs back in their place using resin to help hold parts of the mummy together and rewrapping parts of the mummy with fresh bandages. We show that, at least for Amenhotep I, the priests of the 21st dynasty lovingly repaired the injuries inflicted by the tomb robbers, restored his mummy into its former glory, and preserved the magnificent jewelry and amulets in place, said Salim in the statement. What killed the pharaoh is unclear. Salim said in a statement, we could not find any wounds or disfigurement due to the disease to justify the cause of death. The scan sheds light on what the pharaoh looked like when he was alive. Amenhotep I seems to have physically resembled his father, Ahmoses I. He had a narrow chin, a small narrow nose, curly hair, and mildly protruding upper teeth, said Salim. Most pharaonic mummies have been physically unwrapped or extensively studied using CT scans, the researcher said, noting that Amenhotep I was one of the few royal mummies that had not been examined in detail. This fact that the Menhotep first mummy had never been unwrapped in modern times gives us a unique opportunity, not just to study how he had originally been mummified and buried, 
but also how he had been treated and reburied twice, centuries after his death, by high priests of Amun, Salim said. Life science reached out to scholars not involved in the research. It's all very interesting, but I'm not sure there's anything earth-shattering here, said Aidan Dodson, Egyptologist professor at University of Bristol in the UK. The Golden Girdle may be without direct parallels, but nearly all other royal mummies were completely robbed, so this does not mean very much, Dodson said, noting that other royal mummies may have worn similar girdles that were subsequently stolen. It's possible that the 21st, century, uh, the 21st dynasty priests put the golden girdle on Amenhotep I, said Kara Kuni, an Egyptologist professor at UCLA. The high priests of Amun, who effectively controlled parts of Egypt during the 21st dynasty, regarded Amenhotep I as an ancestor and may have displayed their affection for the pharaoh by placing this girdle on him, Kuni told Life Science in an email. Kuni said that she will discuss this topic more in an upcoming book called Recycling for Death that will be published by American University in Cairo Press. This was originally published by Live Science and Sun Collective Spark. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Finally support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.